Many people have made goals to stay on track when it comes to their finances in 2011. Joining us today to share tips on how to do just that is family finance expert and author of the new book, 60 Minute Money Workout. You don't need weights for this one. Ellie Kay, welcome. Well, thank you, Nikki. It's really great to be with you today. Well, it's great to have you. And of course, I know people are probably consuming you with questions about how, as a consumer, they can become financially fit and save in just an hour a week. Well, yes, you know, I think a lot of people want to be able to keep their New Year's resolutions of getting their money matters in order, but finding the time and, the, and developing that momentum to keep it going can be something else. As a matter of fact, uh, recent surveys indicate that by February, only 64% of those who made New Year's resolutions are able to keep them. Wow. So that's why I recommend the 60-minute money workout. And if you have a start, an end, and you're very strategic and purposeful in how you spend that one hour a week, you really can revolutionize your finances. So what would be your top tip for people if they have that one hour a week? How do you make the most of that hour? Well, I think that you need to pick a topic. For example, one of the most common topics in January is the whole idea of how can we cut costs so that we can pay off debt or so that we can bolster up our emergency fund. Mm -hmm. And I think a really good place to start when it comes to cutting costs are those fixed expenses that you have. For example, car insurance. Uh, yes. A lot of these tips are courtesy of Progressive Insurance because when you go to Progressive.com, you can compare rates among a lot of different carriers carriers to be able to pick the one that's best for you or you can go to your local insurance agent and you know, the incredible thing to me is that people that have reported saving when they switch to progressive yes. are reporting an average savings of over five hundred dollars wow. so this is a like a 10 to 15 minute tip mm -hmm. that can actually yield um, quite a few you know quite a few hundred dollars in return so it's a sure. really good thing five hundred dollars is a lot of money when you really add it up and I know one of the things people question is if they are looking for insurance does being a safe driver make a difference well, it really can make a difference. Of course, you know, if you drive less in safer ways or maybe uh, safer times of the day, okay. it can really help you. And of course, you want to avoid getting that driving ticket. Take a driver <laughs> safety course so it won't go on your record. Right. And, and that can really help you. Well, how can consumers also use social media? Because that's the biggest thing now is using our social media. How do these people stick to their money saving goals in 2011? Well, you know, I think when it comes to social media, the very first thing you need to think of is where do I love to shop? Where do I love to eat? Mm -hmm. what, is, what are the places I go to on a daily, regular basis? And then you go and see if those retailers or restaurants or whatever other places you frequent, see if they have a Twitter account or a Facebook page. Okay. And if they do, then sign up to follow them. Uh, for example, my daughter is a college student in Chicago. And she has a local bakery that's a cupcake store, and every day they tweet the word of the day so you can get a free cupcake. Oh, wow. Now, I don't want her, I really don't want her to eat 365 <laughs> cupcakes a year. Right. So what she does is, because she's a poor college student, she <laughs> likes to help other people and, and help them. So she gets a free cupcake. She'll give it to her BFF if she's having right. a bad day, or maybe even to one of her professors to try to sweeten up that grade a little bit. Literally and it sweeten a win -win it up. for everybody. <laughs> yeah, when well, you can literally sweeten up your teacher, that's the good way to do it. Well, I think that's great because I think and that's a lot with coupons and and social media and you know you go online and if you become a fan of certain pages you do get these discounts that other people aren't aware of and it's worth using it doesn't take up a lot of time does it Ellie no, it really doesn't, and you're notified on your smartphone if you have one immediately, or you can even get a text mm. in some cases that you have a new alert. And sometimes uh, they're only given to, like, the first hundred people that come in. And, you know, if you're out shopping and you're going to go by there anyway, you may just go at a certain time of the day sure. to be able to take uh, um, advantage of that opportunity. Absolutely. And another thing people want to take advantage of is getting to be able to travel and go on vacation throughout the year without breaking the bank. So what would you advise to people? 
Well, you know, this is a really good time of the year to travel uh, because a lot of destinations are experiencing off-season. Right. And that in and of itself can save anywhere from 30 to 50 percent. But let's say you can't break away from work right now and you want to plan a vacation for maybe spring break or even in the summer. Mm -hmm. I think planning is the key. That's why I have a 60-minute vacation workout where you sit down as a family and you talk about what everybody wants to do and then you begin to calculate the cost. For example, let's say you're driving to go visit grandma. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to calculate what that's going to cost. So you can go to fueleconomy.gov and at that site it will not only help you calculate what gasoline costs are going to be but also other incidentals like meals on the road and other things that might come up because the more that you can plan the more likely you are to be able to stay within budget and not put that vacation on a credit card. Great advice, and I think what happens is when we come out of holiday season, people put those things off, but what they need to realize is that if they plan now, they will end up benefiting in the end, won't they? They absolutely will, and you know, it only takes an hour a week. Uh, you have Nothing. to not argue during that hour. Uh, <laughs> you have to be able to be strategic, and if you do that, you really are going to find um, that you're coming out further ahead on your Money Matters for 2011. Absolutely fabulous. Ellie Kay, I appreciate your advice. And where can people go for the book? Well, they can go to LEK.com. And not only can you get the book there, but there's also free tools like how to set up a spending plan or how to get out of oh. credit card debt. And I also have a blog there. And everything we've talked about today is linked through in that blog. So you, you can have all the information in just one place. Perfect. Thank you so much. And I will definitely take that hour a week to be a little more sensible. We appreciate your advice. Well, thank you, Nikki. It was really great being with you today. Thanks, Ellie.